Hi Virgos, thank you guys so much for joining me here for your reading. So this is a really exciting one actually and I'm going to tell you the way it went down. So a couple of days ago I was walking to the gym and there's this um, new block of houses that have been developed and it has a sign at the front that says Trilogy be the first okay so houses all about your soul and yourself okay and a lot of people have now moved into these newly developed houses so i feel like you guys are kind of like moving into a new aspect of yourself or you're getting comfortable with a new aspect of yourself right and um as i was walking past a lot of these houses don't yet have a lot of uh you know curtains or anything because it's like freshly moved in which i feel like is people witnessing the fact that you're entering into a new stage or just new version of yourself but you may not have a lot of privacy in regards to this because in the metaphysical realm windows are all about how other people see you and also uh how you can see others so as i was walking by in my peripheral vision okay i didn't look directly in but i could see somebody that was sleeping in in their bed um and i obviously didn't look because that's just creepy as hell but i could see it from my peripheral so i was like all right there's an object that's like sleeping on a bed um which i feel like is basically people witnessing you go through uh, a healing period in your life four of swords uh energy is somebody sleeping on a bed and this is about them traveling with their mind and knowing that's the best way to travel it's like a good traveler is the one that knows how to travel with the mind so this could be where your visions or things that you've been dreaming about are coming into fruition during this time like you said that you were going to do something and people were like oh damn like virgo is actually doing it like they're actually taking action towards this they're actually going through healing they're actually focusing on introspection when it comes to their innermost needs and desires and this happens after a three of swords moment so i feel like this is something that you have detached yourself from um something that you could have been grieving in a lot of ways and this is about your soul evolving onto a new level and maybe there being a, like a lack of privacy or feeling like you know people are kind of watching you like a hawk during this time and then i got um i entered into the gym right and I start hearing the song on the radio um, and on the radio, and let me see if I can find the photo, but um, it had a station called Heart. Okay, there's a station called Heart in the UK. Um, if you're not from here, uh, and let me see if I can find it. I took a photo, but I don't know how to find it. Um, but anyway, there's a radio station called Heart and um, I'm looking at my favorites now, which actually has a heart as well, which is so funny. Uh, but there's something about, anyway, I took a photo of it, I'll find it after if I can. Um, but this is about the romantic story, back to your own heart, right? And knowing that you have the love. So I heard the song, I guess you wonder where I've been. I searched to find the love within. I came back to let you know I got a thing for you and I can't let go. And I don't feel like this is something that you're singing to anyone externally. I feel like it's like you guys looking in the mirror, you know, it kind of gives me that energy. And it's like, you know, you're really feeling yourself during this time because <laughs> i'm hearing feeling myself now but like god damn it god damn it i'm feeling myself you know slap your same fingers on the z formation like some of my virgos could be su super sassy during this time um but yeah this is you coming back to yourself it could be about your soda return during this time happy motherfucking birthday to my virgos as well um but yeah you guys are like almost like coming back to yourself and you're letting yourself know that you you know you've got a thing for yourself during this time it's like you know you're feeling yourself um so anyway after this i went to the bathroom right which is all about releasing pent-up emotions in the metaphysical realm and the whole reason i'm saying this guys by the way is as you know i do a lot of astral travel messages but I, i'm trying to teach you guys that you can be just as lucid in the waking state because life is a dream and a dream right you can be just as lucid and decode you know messages in the physical material plane as you can in the astral right that's a big thing about how you can actually learn to uh lucid dream and begin to navigate your way into the non-physical realm as well in a lucid basis because you're always lucid um i'll do another video on that but anyway as i was going to the toilet and emotionally releasing i saw a god damn mosquito it made its way here right um in the gym and as soon as I got up, I was like, oh my gosh, like, I didn't even see that. Um, it was preying. It must have been like, you know, like coming up with some kind of plan to bite me. Um, but if you guys haven't watched a reading where it's like, we got, I got the chunkla out. And we're like, you know, you got, you got to get your <laughs> chunkla 3000 and, uh, you know, squash uh, the beef when it comes to people that 
I feel like you're no longer in contact with but you learned how to protect yourself right because we were talking about the citronella candle in that reading I'll link it down below if you haven't watched it um but I feel like you're focusing on really just yourself during this time you're no longer paying attention to things and people that you no longer want to be a part of your reality yeah they may be buzzing yeah they may be watching you in the background but it's no longer something that you're paying attention to you're taking away its only power which is your attention which could be a five of souls energy where it's like people are hostile people are resentful towards you yeah they may want to make amends but uh you know they just disturb your peace and your mental health in a lot of ways so anyway this is about energetic vampires and self-serving parasites and the last time i was there as well i also saw one in the locker room and this reminds me of the locker room reading that we did for you guys where there was people like preying on your locker and they were like trying to basically still um things that belong to you and this is about thief energy so again it's people that are walking in shoes, shoes of deception locker rooms are all about your identity you know you're changing your clothes you're changing the way that you identify yourself and um, the people that you identify yourself with and as you birth this new self into creation you also have to release people and self-serving parasites that have latched on to an old identity an old version of virgo and leave that behind you know don't confuse this new version of yourself with people from the old paradigm that cannot come with you because that's no longer a viable option if you want to be this version of self you have to release the external attachments that have latched onto you right um otherwise it's a contradiction you know uh so yeah that's what this reading is about essentially what we're gonna do is probably take a look at um how people are viewing you during this time real quick i do want to take a look at that energy let's go ahead and take a look at the astrological theme in regards to that just real quick just to get that out of the way okay because i feel like it was coming up so uh this could be useful you have your deeper resolve rises eclipse and aquarius so you are actually transforming the way that you relate to your past uh cancer and aquarius energy so this is about you guys accepting your past people see you as somebody that has accepted their past and also like broken broken free from a past comfort zone this is people that you used to feel like um supported your emotional foundation in some way you know it's like people that were really close to you and there's something around like there's more vulnerability in like breaking free um that you're becoming empowered from during this time it's like there's more vulnerability in stepping into the unknown it requires you to be vulnerable with yourself and really release familiar territory that may be a contradiction in regards to the new things that you want to experience so your deeper resolve rises is awakening awakening is not changing who you are okay but it's discarding all the things and people whom you are not okay so yeah aquarian energy a cancer and energy it's about her being a rebel but with a cause okay and people they may kind of misunderstand you during this time uh because aquarius can't cannot be tamed right they cannot be tamed so i feel like there's a side of you that people are seeing that honey they weren't ready for it like they also to return like they were not ready for all of this like you know we have mars energy so it's like you guys are you know you're ready like you're ready if you need to throw hands you're gonna throw hands i'm joking i love you you're too pretty to be fighting okay that's what i say um but this is like your internal warrior right you guys are an internal warrior and this is about being a rebel and there's something about um like i was watching something and it's coming up around people want to say they're a rebel but really they they're just a liar like they don't say anything they don't do anything out in the open but there's something about aquarius being outside of the box um cancerian energy can be that box that is your comfort zone you guys breaking free from that and allowing other people to actually view and observe that and knowing that they may have uh you know opposing views to you there could be disagreements there could be conflicts uh, that may be arising but you're growing stronger from that resistance it's like you're facing these adversities head on and you're saying well i'm a rebel like you're you're watching me do it i'm not doing this in a deceptive way i'm becoming empowered by that mars energy is about your ambitions your drive your motivations for the future and not allowing anything to kind of hold you back right especially when it comes to just like removing yourself from the drama that eludes you during this time right aquarius is the community it's knowing that people around you may talk maybe this is friendship groups maybe this is connections whatever it is it's just like awakening it's discarding everything that no longer serves you anything that you've been fighting yourself internally around releasing for too long you know anything that's truly for you will hold no weight and there's something about your 
life is too short to spend another day at war with yourself when it comes to the type of people that you want to surround yourself with especially if this is conflict you know mars in the 11th house is like conflict in friendship groups you want to be around people that inspire you you know when it comes to your aspirations people that can push you people that can motivate you not people that try to destroy you um in that way right we have capricorn energy so this could be your reputation your public image your status it's like the way that people see you so yeah they see with somebody that is causing a lot of uh disruptions um or disagreements amongst something that was once a comfort zone you know it's like how could you treat me like this virgos we have so much history together how could you treat me like this <laughs> ah, you do not want to be a virgo cross watcher right now <laughs> okay let's go ahead and open up with the tarot um let's take a look at the romantic journey back to your heart okay we have death and rebirth so again releasing yourself from your past a lot of you are also transforming the way that you relate to your past you know um you're coming back to more of an innocent place where you're, it doesn't mean you're naive but you're just you know you're seeing the purpose that your past has served and you're also realizing that you know some of these soul contracts for a lot of you pluto six of cups energy no longer serves a purpose in your life and that is okay you know it's it's had its moment you know that character had its moment in the last chapter but it's not going to be in this new sequel you know it's almost like you're creating these conscious endings that allow new stories to play out right and you don't have to play out the same stories again and again just because you have history all right um yeah, that's no longer going to be his story, right? It's like you're changing the story, coming back to the heart space, you know, emotional fulfillment. This could be a creative opportunity. It could be love. Um, but I feel like, again, it's about how can you fall in love with this new version of yourself, this ever-changing version of yourself. Some of you are like shape-shifting out here, right? Because you're accessing higher dimensions. Yeah, Six of Cups, again, it's almost like we have love for your past, but you are not your past and you're not allowing your past to define you anymore right all that has been is not all that has to be and it's not all that will be all right we also have the king of cups and the six of cups again so again a lot of you it's like your past no longer has a hold on you you know the past is coming up a lot here so you know take a shot <laughs> every time i say the past that goes <laughs> right um but yeah you're not no longer allowing people from your past to possibly even like emotionally manipulate you right and pull you back into the old paradigm it's like uh, imagine a snake shedding its skin and then trying to get back in its old dead skin that's already shed like you know for the swords like you're healing from that already you released it um so let's go ahead and take a look at um clarification let's take a look at what virgo is released and death and rebirth um number 13 is all about karmic debts and cycles and contracts so yeah a lot of you have um closed the door so that new ones can open and even though there's a lot of good memories that you may have in the past right um you're also kind of like you know bringing forward only what is essential which really is the lessons right you're leaving behind the characters the stories that have played out and you're only bringing forward the lessons And you're not stuck in the past, right? Because if you're looking too long at the door that has closed, you won't see the ones that have opened to you. You know, and this could be new opportunities that are coming in for you. Yeah, Ace of Cups. That's so funny because I was just seeing the Ace of Cups here, which is about new opportunities. This could be in love, right? This could be an opportunity to do what it is that you love. It could be creative opportunities. Um, but yeah, you're releasing yourself from people and situations, possibly in love or life that have just left you feeling wanting more people that have taken you for granted because you've been easily accessible to them and five of cups is like where you've been undervalued where people haven't seen your worth and what is transforming is that you finally see the worth within you you know you're not seeking for external approval validation acceptance because you're proud of yourself and you accept yourself right so let's see what's coming in and as a result to that a lot of opportunities but you are going to have to decide which ones you feel like are actually going to bring you the emotional fulfillment because you've experienced the fact that not all that glitters is gold venus and scorpio you can i now identify something that is kind of like wrong but in all the right ways right but really it's in all the wrong ways um but you can kind of see through that during this time you understand what is most in alignment with you and a lot of you have chosen the same kind of energetic signature again and again and you're very familiar with that repetitive feedback loop even if that comes to the form of another face so i feel like you're able to trust your judgment 
during this time you're able to trust your discernment not that you're judging others but it's almost like again you you know what that judgment call sounds like right you know what that wake up call sounds like that you had been ignoring before so when that voice that same voice that intuitive instinct comes to you again you can honor that right and you can shake up the algorithm within your own life and choose to prevent um, a certain path from occurring that you know will ultimately lead to a dead end or will prolong your journey and decide to again like be proud of your past and where it's got you and also overcome it right and be victorious from it and this is about new chapters where this new chapter is where you you guys are the main character that's what this energy is giving me it's giving me big main character energy right and it's because you're holding on to your fundamental values right your core beliefs let's take a look at the king of cups we have the two of coins okay interesting and we have the magician so it's almost like you're not allowing people externally to come and make you question yourself virgos because we have the magician at the base which is almost like it's kind of giving me emotional manipulation where people may try to come in and make you question yourself like are you sure this is the right decision uh, people that may come in and again make you question your belief systems your preferences your desires let's see what this is yeah the justice but it's like this is something that you've already learnt your lesson in regards to, right? It's like you're, you're bringing those lessons forward with you. Um, some of you, they also could be like a new contract that you're wanting to go after in some way. And this could be like a side hustle that you're developing during this time. That could be a side message for somebody. Um, but it's like you're juggling between two realities. And you're realizing where there's a certain continuum where you've seen where that desire you've seen where that outcome leads you and it's not your desired result so it's like you're shifting the continuums you're choosing one reality right you're not choosing to like try to sway between the life that you want and the life that you've had right it's like you're really making a decision a final decision in regards to what benefits you the timeline that's in alignment with your highest expression and what or who you need to drop with that pentacle right in order to get there, you know, in order to be able to look into that specific continuum, the one that's going to bring you your emotional fulfillment, the one that is going to allow you to travel towards that desired outcome with as much ease as possible, right? Um, and you're realizing where people may come in and make you, you may compromise that state of being, right? May compromise that happiness. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at a wisdom of the oracle message for you. We have a leg up. So this is going to be a leg up in the right direction. Okay, Virgos, there could be someone coming in or an opportunity that's going to allow you to really level up. You know, leg up is almost like three of coins energy where people could be coming in and assisting you in, in some way. Um, or there's an opportunity that comes in and assists you to get where it is that you wanted to go. Let's take a look at some of 34 for you. So 34, a leg up, receiving help, degelegating, de delegating authority um and independent interpen interdependence okay you've come to a point where going it alone is no longer option op optimal for you life has a way of presenting you with the perfect people to align you who can give you a leg up at this stage in your journey help comes to you in all areas of your life whether you need a boost the trick is to accept the aid so freely given when you embrace interdependence, allow teamwork and independence to commingle, miracles happen. Now is such a time. So this could be collaborations or networks that are coming in during this time where you don't have to compromise who you are, right? It's about individuals coming together, in, in independent people coming together that are so empowered and like confident in who they are and their own abilities that, you know, that pe other people aren't threatened by you you know everybody brings something to the table it's not a imbalanced energy exchange so in relationships this is basically knowing that uh, they will th thrive on interdependence it's important that you recognize others um that you need others as much as they need you right this is focusing on really again equal energy exchanges in prosperity this is about seeking advice from a mentor business advisor that has been where you want to go and if you can get help too um from them so this is basically like connecting with people there could be an opportunity to connect with somebody that has walked the path that you want to be able to walk right this could be people that inspire you in some way you could receive some kind of good counsel or advice from them 
that could aid you in your prosperity um but yeah it's time to focus on some kind of level up this is about the perfect people will arrive at the perfect time so long as you step forward with a mustard seed of faith right so all you need is a mustard seed of faith during this time and we guys were talking about them like a mustard seed right the small seeds on the wish that you uh blew on the dandelion flower so i'll link that reading down below if you haven't watched it um but yeah this is basically about being open and receptive to this right shifting your expectations see, seeing how amazed you'll be uh by some kind of external help that may come in during this time for you so yeah let's go ahead and see uh let's see what this is real quick With the two of wands and the seven of cups okay so this could be about you guys being overwhelmed with decisions and a mars and aries energy is somebody that could come in and really motivate you in some way they help you get clear where it is that you are at crossroads in regards to you maybe when it comes to who's for you maybe when it comes to what's for you um it's really someone that brings clarity to the misty mirrors right where you really cannot see a situation very clearly it could be like clouded judgment that you guys have but mars and aries likes them even one direction so this could be someone that helps you gain that clear pers uh, like perspective um someone that helps you even like plan and prepare for some kind of road of progression we also have the devil so again it's almost like they'll help you see through any illusions during this time Yeah, we have six of cups and we have the tower so some of you it's almost like this could be particular soul contracts okay in some way and we have the tower where again you want to avoid choosing the same maybe decision again and again and expecting a different result right it's the definition of lunacy so it's almost like you want to also avoid something uh picking something or choosing something that has a compromised foundation right you don't want to build on a foundation full of sand and the, with the two of uh ones there we also have the eight of cups and the judgment so again you really want to avoid choosing the same thing over and over again especially if it still leaves you hungry so this could be someone that helps you make a decision in regards to that again we have archangel gabriel with a judgment call so this is um somebody reaffirming what your intuition or soul is already picking up on okay and helping you gain that clarity when it comes to you there's a new way that you can do things but you have to be able to leave an old way of doing things behind right or something that no longer serves you split on the five of swords so again you don't see eye to eye with a person or situation two of cups is someone that could come in where there's this mutually beneficial exchange of some kind that is more fulfilling for you it is more aligned with your belief systems or someone comes in and reaffirms right what it is that you should do to honor the relationship that you have with yourself by honoring your inner most needs and desires during this time so yeah um i guess we're gonna do some of these um i guess right we have the four, uh yeah we have advice from a friend so you could be receiving some kind of advice during this time but it goes okay this could be good good words it could be sage advice from somebody right maybe it's something that you don't want to let go of sorry virgos my camera cut out but yeah worry um and anxiety that somebody is against you so this could be a decision in regards to someone that you don't want to let go of but you know that you have to or a situation and then again at the base we have good advice from a wise person with owl so Again, this could be some kind of advice that's coming through during this time that's assisting you with this transition. But we're going to leave it there, Virgos. I hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. If you're not already subscribed to this channel and want to stick around for future reads, do consider subscribing. Personal reading details are also down below. And uh, yeah, if you're not already subscribed to my second channel, take a look over there as well. But I wish you guys the very best of luck. Until next time, bye.